Hey everybody, welcome to They That Hope You Like This Music with Deacon Bob and not Father Dave because he's on vacation and I am coming to you from the Pittsburgh International Airport as you can see with the beautiful Delta plane uh, behind me unless you're listening and then you can just hear a lot of weird ambient noise but uh, I'm on my way out to Houston to do a retreat for uh, youth and young adult ministers and I thought I might put this podcast together in transit. So uh, as we mentioned last weekend, Father Dave is on vacation. And today uh, I thought I might just share with you some new songs off the album. Of course, about a month or so ago, we ended every episode with a song. Here are the final mixes of them. And I wanted to give you some of the new stuff. The CD ended up being 15 songs, which is crazy. You know, when we began, we were thinking we might stretch it to 10 and have to do a few covers, but it ended up being uh, 14 original songs and then one cover of one of my favorite Jim Cowan songs, which I'll talk about a little later in the episode. The name of the album is called The Hours. Uh, it's a reflection on the beautiful prayers of the Liturgy of the Hours. And for those of you that do the morning prayer or the Office of Readings, the first thing the church prays is known as the Invitatory. We sing, Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. And the traditional psalm you reflect on is Psalm 95. Now, about 10 years ago, I did another Kickstarter album called The Gospel Accordion to Bob Rice. Uh, and I had written Psalm 95 for the accordion, which is, of course, how all great songs start. As we realized that this album was going to be about the hours, I went back to that song and I thought, I wonder if I could do it better with the Brewer Sisters. Well, spoiler alert, I think I did. So here is the original of Psalm 95. It's just the chorus, so it's just a little bit of accordion. I think you can take it. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Come, let us sing to the Lord. And shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach Him with praise. Let us approach Him with praise. Let us approach Him with praise and thanksgiving and sing a joy. Yeah, you see, it's not that bad, uh, but it gets much better when you add Mary and Anna Brewer uh, to the Invitatory and Psalm 95, which kicks off the album. I hope you enjoy it. Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us sing to the Lord. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise. Let us approach him with praise. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God. The mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him. The dry land too is formed by his hands. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise. Let us approach him with praise. Let us approach him with praise. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Let us approach him with 
the Lord. Let us approach Him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. All right, well, here I am in Detroit, uh, my connecting flight to Houston. And the next song I want to play is Psalm 42, Hope in God. You know, uh, this was actually able to be done out of extra generosity from the Kickstarter campaign. I had said if we reached a certain amount of money, we'd record a few more songs. We got a certain amount of money, and I didn't actually have any songs to add. So I prayed about it. I looked at the songs we had, and I said, okay, well, what's missing? And one of the things I thought was missing was a psalm of lament. You know, many of the psalms are actually of lament. They're of the Jews in the time of the exile. And they are lamenting their particular situation, but they're also trying to recall what God had done for them. And I particularly love this psalm. It's almost an interior dialogue of, oh, everything's horrible, everything's, you know, broken, we've lost everything, to, hey, what's your problem? You know, God hasn't changed. Uh, you just still have to hope in God and praise Him even in the midst of difficulty. When I wrote the song, actually, you might notice there's some slight tempo changes. The verses, which are more lamenting, are at a faster pace, you know, because when we're anxious, everything is just going at a faster and faster pace. Uh, but the chorus just slows down a little bit, has full harmonies, and just says, why are you downcast on my soul? You know, put your hope in God. Uh, he, was, he will never change, and he's always there for us. So here is Psalm 42, Hope in God. Tears have become my bread by night, by day. All day long I hear it said, Where is your God? Why are you downcast on my soul? Have you forgotten all he's done for you? Open God and sing His praises. He is my Savior and my God. Why are you downcast, oh my soul? Have you forgotten all He's done for you? Open God and sing His praises. He is my Savior and With cries that pierce me to the heart, they say, where is your God? Why are you downcast, oh my soul? Have you forgotten all he's done for you? Open God and sing his praises. He is my Savior and my why are you downcast, oh my soul? Have you forgotten all he's done for you? Hope in God and sing his praises. He is my Savior and my God. These things will I done for you. Hope in God and sing his praises. He is my Savior and my God. So don't 
don't be downcast, oh my soul. The Lord your God has not abandoned you. He is faithful, never changes. He is my Savior and my God. Always my Savior and my God. He is my Savior and my God. I mentioned earlier that uh, we ended up having one song that we didn't write. Uh, it's one of my favorite songs by a good friend of mine, Jim Cowan, Faithful to Your Call. I actually had it played at my diaconate ordination because I love that bridge. Lord, I want to be your servant more than anything at all, just to know that I was faithful to your call. And I had been really debating if I wanted to do any cover songs at all on the CD. But then uh, a good friend, Amber Van Vickle, passed away and her husband, Dave, asked me to play the funeral and specifically asked for that song. And so I thought, all right, Lord, I guess that's a sign that this song should make it on the album. Uh, I am so honored to be playing the summer conferences after Jim had done it for so many years. And I always, uh, every summer, try to bring this song in there somewhere because I just think it's really one of the most beautiful praise songs ever written. And it's made even more beautiful with Anna and Mary Brewer uh, singing along with it. So hope you enjoy it. Yeah. 
All right, taking off. Last song, Canticle of Zechariah. It is the uh, canticle that we sing at the end of morning prayers, and it's the way we end the album. So you've got the first song and the last song. At this point, you're probably wondering, where can I buy this wonderful album? I have no idea. Uh, it'll be available streaming probably in the beginning of June. Uh, you can check out my website, deaconbybrace.com. I'm sure I'll have info there. But I'm just so grateful for all of you who supported it, and I pray you've been blessed by this episode. God bless. Peace. See you next week with Father Dave. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies. From the hands of all who hate us, he promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham To set us free from the hands of our enemies Free to worship him without fear Holy and righteous in his sight All the days of our shall be called the prophet of the Most High. For you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sin. The tender compassion of our God The dawn from on high shall break upon us To shine on those who dwell in darkness And the shadow of death In the tender compassion of our God the dawn from on high shall break upon us To shine on those who dwell in darkness And the shadow of death And to guide our feet And to guide our feet And to guide our feet the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as, as it, it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, now, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Surprise! Bonus track time. Yes, I've made it in to Houston safe and sound. It's Tuesday morning, and I am about to lead a retreat for campus ministers in the Archdiocese of Houston and Galveston. And the theme of the retreat is based on Henry Nouwen's wonderful book, Life of the Beloved. To be honest, with my wedding last weekend um, and graduation, I kind of didn't think about it too much. I mean, I'd prepped it like a couple weeks ago knowing I was busy. And now as I'm going over the notes, I realize that there's one more song I would like to share with you. Actually, it's a song I've avoided sharing with you because... <laughs> On some levels, I think it's the worst song on the album. Um, it's not. Uh, all the songs are great. But it's actually a song I have a real difficult time embracing. Uh, the song is called Truth. And parenth parenthetically, it says, I am blessed. When I was on retreat last year in Clearwater, Florida, uh, my spiritual director gave me 
some really challenging scriptures to reflect on. And by challenging scriptures, I don't mean things about morality or you know conduct or other things that you might think are challenging. Uh, the scriptures were from you know the Gospel of Matthew, the voice of the Father saying, "You are my child, my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased." It was from the Psalms, uh, "You are fearfully and wonderfully made." It was from Isaiah, "I have called you by name; you are mine." Now, these might not sound like challenging verses, generally speaking. They kind of sound like almost soft and cushiony verses, you know, like things that just make you go, oh, that, I love hearing stuff like that. Um, I have a tough time with them. I'll just be honest with you. I have a difficult time being the beloved of God. I have a challenge in my own life of thinking that it's not about what I do. It's not about how I teach the books I write, the CDs I record, that I am beloved just by being made in the image and likeness of God, that God calls me before I even do anything. And that's what's so beautiful even about the Gospels. You know, the Heavenly Father tells Jesus he's beloved and he hasn't yet done any miracles. <laughs> he hasn't even gone to the cross yet. He's not beloved because of what he's about to do. He's beloved because of who he is. And so it was in that retreat that I wrote this song um, that reflects on those key scriptures that I just need to keep telling myself about. And, you know, it's interesting that I'm still a little embarrassed about them. I think, oh man, these, these scriptures are so kind of cheesy and fluffy. Um, but in reality, at least in my own life, they're one of the, some of the most challenging and hardest verses for me to reconcile with just to embrace that I am loved by God because of who I am, that I am called by God, um, not because I've got something to offer, uh, you know, because I have some great talent. Okay, I'm not by the airport anymore. Well, I guess I'm still by the airport, so that's the uh, airplane hanging over. Um, but because he loves me and he loves you. So I'll conclude this podcast with this song. Uh, I pray you are challenged by it. I pray you are blessed by it, and I pray that you know that it is the truth that we all need to embrace. Um, I am blessed, I am glorious, and he loves us. We are fearfully and wonderfully made. We are his child with whom he is well pleased. Um, we are his, and we always will be. God bless. Lord, give me faith to believe that the words you have spoken are true. I am blessed, I am glorious, and you love me. I am fearfully, wonderfully made. I'm your child with whom you Oh,
Oh, yeah.